to Lance Gross. We're here. So we're here in there's just celebrities all up everywhere in here. So come on and find us. Wait, 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 wait. I can't hear you. I said make some noise. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look, look, I've been to many cities, many countries, and don't nobody, nobody party like y'all do. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Much love. I appreciate the warm welcome. Yeah, there it is. Let's Let's go go inside. So come on up. From the hit series. Yeah, it's a full stadium. And hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you we to gonna have a good time tonight. The power section is just about to start just now. From B -E Make sure you check it up. Mr. Terrence J. Special guest. Listen, when I get back on TV on Monday, I want to be able to tell the world how y'all party. So on the count of three, I need everybody in here to scream. One, two, three. That's what I'm talking about. Once again, thank you to Mr. Monroe and the Soka Monarch. I am having the time of my life as soon as I get back on the plane. Matter of fact, I might just live out here. I might not get back on the plane because of the way y'all party. And tonight is so special that I bought somebody special to celebrate her birthday right now. So I want to break out the world famous supermodel, Miss Selena E. Banks. Celebrating our birthday right now. Come out here, Selena. And on the count of three, I need everybody to say happy birthday. One, two, three. Celebrities upon celebrities, here we are. Ladies on the stage, who was so come on Is the access we get? You don't know. I am iDev.com. Stay tuned. <laughs>
going on? You don't know it's your boy, Mr. High Death. Here we are in Soko Monarch backstage, and Desha just finished her magnificent performance. Magnificent. Whose idea was it to start in the middle of the crowd? Um, well, there's this crazy guy um, called Neil Bernard. He actually produced the song too. Um, you know, and he's you know he's kind of mad. All Anybody right. that knows him knows that he's crazy, and he thought that it would be a nice effect to do it differently. It was. I'm it was. guaranteeing nobody else is going to do that. I actually <laughs> was looking on stage, waiting for you to come on. The so song long. started and everybody's like, what's going on? Yeah, where is she? She's yeah. in the crowd. <laughs> from my vantage point, there was a timer. And I'm just watching you go from your small stage yeah. to the big stage and the timer just going down. Yeah. Was that a factor to you? Well, you know, I only started to think about the timer when I got on the stage and I sang the next verse. I'm like, oh, shucks. There's supposed to be a timer, so I look in front. I'm like, shucks, I only have two minutes. Okay, I can't do all the things I wanted to do. Because I had lots more stuff planned. You know, when you have your band and you do a lot of shows, mm -hmm. fans and stuff, you work the crowd a different way. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the timer now, and I'm seeing two minutes, and I'm saying, okay, I don't want to be disqualified because they have strict rules, yeah. and I like to adhere to the rules. Don't go over your time. So I said, look, let me just get this done, whatever, 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 yeah. out of it. All right. Well, you heard it. Time wasn't a factor. Now, when it comes down to your wardrobe and everything as well, who was responsible for your wardrobe? Well, Sonovia, Gabby, Sandy. It's a three O. Right. Sandy bought the fabric and stuff. We went to New York um, late last year. No, sorry, early this year, January, like one or two or somewhere there. Okay. And then Gabby and Sonovia are the ones that actually think about the design. Sonovia does most of the work because she actually sews as well. So okay. it's a group effort, and I love them. You know, they and I they're young designers, so. You get that edge. I like the edge. But other than that, again, backstage with Destro Garcia, the amazing link up. <laughs> I loved it. The performance was amazing. Other than that, for the carnival season, are you ready? I'm ready. I mean, carnival is done. Yeah. You know, so I mean, I went through the, the brunt of it, doing all the interviews, the, the children's shows, the, everything. And we just, actually, I have like three or four more shows left. Okay. I'm counting it down. And then mass. Monday and Tuesday, you can't forget that. Who you playing with? <laughs> Tribe. We. So again, you don't know what your boy, Mr. High Def from IamHighDef.com. Here we are backstage. So come on, a fantastic Friday. It's carnival. So here we are backstage again, literally right behind the stage with one of the most amazing dancers that I know, Miss Zulema. She is one of Marshall's dancers and they are about to go on stage right after Blacks and... Yeah, well, yes. I know was before and then we have Blacks and now it's us. So there's a lot of pressure, there's a big competition. It's a lot of pressure. We're working for, you know, one of the biggest artists or the biggest artists of soca music and so there's a lot of pressure to kind of pull through and you know cop that first prize i hear you i hear you so how do you because i know you're part of a band you, you have so much rehearsals going on how do you cope with all the pressure especially around carnival time well you basically you just have to suck up on all your vitamins i am taking like you could say a vitamin cocktail vitamin c b369 um just cold tablets everything just yeah. to keep your you know resistance up yeah but now and again you get like two hours sleep but mm. other than that you just pop a red bull and <laughs> you kind of go <laughs> so you are technically considered like the behind the scenes person because marshall takes front stage but right. you, you take you and the other dancers take a huge yeah we're like role. backup yeah we're like some serious backup serious backup yeah. Yeah. how much rehearsal goes into a performance like this wow <laughs> a lot um I mean, after we had a fet last night, we had, from that fet we went straight into rehearsals. Um, that was like at 5 a.m. in the morning yeah. to like around 10. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to go from a fet to rehearsals, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I hear ya. So you heard it. 
It's not just the artists that go through a whole bunch of stress during carnival time. The dancers. The dancers too. So remember, take note. So I know a lot of you people want to be dancers out there. So there's a lot of work that goes into it. But in that, again, don't forget, check out IamHighDeath.com. Stay tuned for the rest of the carnival events. Monday and Tuesday coming up. Are you playing mass? Yes, I am. With? I am bouncing between island people and fantasy. All right, then. Yeah. So again, make sure you stay tuned for island people and fantasy on the road. It's going to be a time. All right. Thanks. that stage and she just killed this stage over here with Marshall Montano. Did you ever see yourself on the Soka Monarch stage? No, I mean, okay, let me tell you something. My first Soka Monarch was one year ago and this is only my second. So the concept of being on stage for Soka Monarch yeah. never entered my mind. Right. Never. Yes. Jeez. Ever. What would the Project Run Runway judges think if they saw this going on right now? Oh my god. I think they'd be very proud. Yeah. <laughs> they'd be very proud because it's like, you know, they see us in a whole different light until mm. they know like what, where we really come from and mm. Trinidad is, and Tobago is just it's so incredible and yeah. uh, the more that I expose that is the more that it's just like, it's really blow mine. <laughs> Sokomana just finished, fantastic Friday, wonderful, wonderful acts and the power, I tell you, and I see you have your buckets over here. <laughs> okay. Bucket in a 4D. <laughs> so yeah, 
after all the performances, I just see this random person and I'm like, wait, she looks familiar. Yeah. So here we are with Tarumi. Hi. You guys might recognize her from Kesteban's video, Stress Away. Mm -hmm. That was an amazing video, by the way. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, it was pretty different, you know, different mm -hmm. concept. Okay. Um, there was a really good storyline. Yeah. Um, and I'm really happy, really grateful that I was a part of that All project. Right. How did so, you get to be a part of that? Did you have to audition? How did that work out? Um, kind of. I think just based on prior work that I've done, okay. um, they liked what they saw mm -hmm. and um, I was recommended okay. for the for the Wonderful. part. So, All right. So are you yeah. a model, actress? Um, I like to think of myself as a struggling actress. <laughs> All right. I, I respect that. <laughs> I, too, am an aspiring actor. That's great. <laughs> so until yeah. I land that big role, I won't yeah. actually call myself an actor. Yes. But yeah. All right. So with that video, like how long did that video take? Three days from wow. six in the morning till six in the evening straight. Wow. It was nonstop. Jeez, I would yes. not have thought three days for that video. Three days straight. And how did you manage? Um, quite well, you know. I mean, when you love something, when you mm -hmm. want to do something, mm -hmm. it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a piece of cake. So you just go on that rush, that adrenaline, you know. Wonderful. Just to get the job done. Yeah. Jeez. So. So you, you see it. So I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm, I'm speechless. Because especially for a music video, I, I never put in three days of work for three yeah. minutes. That is insane. Yeah. And we have the incredible hairdresser who worked on the video, Camille. <laughs> she ran away. away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. So. Well, she did an amazing job. Yes, she did. <laughs> yes, she did. Amazing. So, yeah. All you got to do is just look and you'll notice people. That's the wonderful thing about Carnival. Everybody, you bump into people. People look familiar and there's yeah. a reason. Yeah. So, yes. It's Rumi. Yeah. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> and look out for us. Yeah, look out for us. <laughs>